The hallmark of a good knot is the ability to tie it quickly for it to serve its purpose and then to be able to untie that knot relatively easily. And when talking about fixed loop knots, there are a lot of different versions of fixed loop knots, but not all of them are created equal. In fact, a lot of them are incredibly hard to get untied. Two that come to mind are the simple overhand loop and the figure eight loop. Uh, once those are subjected to a lot of load, then they become extremely difficult to untie. So today I'm gonna to show you five different loop knots that are very good loop knots, but they also are very easy to untie. Let's get started. So the first knot that we're gonna show here is the ever popular bowling. Now you can form the nipping loop. We wanna go down about 18, 20 inches down the rope to form our nipping loop. You can either turn it to the left like this, kind of just twist it, or you can grab it like this and turn it like you are turning the ignition on your vehicle. So just a simple turn and that forms a loop. Now take the working end, go up through that loop, and then we're going to trail around our standing end here. And then we're going to send it right back down the loop that we came out of. Pinch it together here. Grab the, the standing end, pull them apart. And that is the ever popular bowlin. Now there's a lot of different variants of the bowlin. Uh, it's important to know this knot because there are so many different variants and this is one of the better knots out there as well. So one that in particular that I use a lot is the Portuguese bowling, which allows you to tie on two different loops uh, that are adjustable. And then once they are, once you have them adjusted where you want them, they become pretty well fixed. So you can grab from two different points. So the bowling is incredibly important to know and it's one of the better knots that you can learn. The next knot that we're going to look at is the Zeppelin loop. And the Zeppelin loop is probably the best fixed loop knot out there because it's not all that difficult to tie once you've learned it. Uh, but the benefit to it is, is it's very secure and it is probably the easiest knot to untie even after subjected to a lot of load. So to tie this one, the first thing we want to do is we want to tie a simple loose overhand knot into our line about that same 18, 20 inches down the rope. Then we're gonna take our two lines, our standing in and our working in, and we're gonna kind of pinch them together so that it kind of splays out that overhand loop, that loose overhand. Now we're gonna take our working in, and now you see we have a left loop, and or if we turn it like this, a, a top loop and a bottom loop. So we're gonna go through and under and through the bottom, or excuse me, under and through the top loop and then we're going to roll this around so that it crosses under itself. And then you'll notice that it kind of forms a double loop with that lower loop. Now we're just going to take our working in. We're going to put it right back through that loop. And now we can pull them apart. And that is the Zeppelin bin. It is one of the best fixed loop knots that you can learn. Now, the great benefit to this one, and I'm going to try to load this one up as much as I can by hand here anyway, is that you can take the two sides of this, the two bridges, and just very easily pull it right apart. And it is one of the easiest to get untied and is one of the strongest uh, fixed loop knots that I know of. The next knot is the Carrick loop. Uh, it's similar to the Carrick bend and it starts out a lot, uh, really similar to what the Bolin does. So we're gonna turn our our nipping loop for the bowling like we would the bowling and this time we're going to go same way up through the loop and around our standing in and then this is where it differs instead of going down through to form the bowling what we're going to do is we're going to go over this side of the loop and then we're going to just bring it right back up through between where the uh, working in went through our loop the first time and then our nipping loop pull those apart kind of dress it out and this is the Carrick Loop. Now the Carrick Loop also has the great benefit of being very easy to untie. I don't think it's quite as easy to untie as the Zeppelin. Uh, it might be a tad more secure though. This is a very, very good fixed loop knot as well. This is the Carrick Loop. The next fixed loop knot that we're gonna look at is called the Hanson Loop. Now this is uh, an old Boy Scout knot that I don't know that they teach it that much anymore, but Nonetheless, it's a very good knot to learn. So uh, we're going to start this one off kind of like we do the Zeppelin by turning a loose overhand knot into our line. Then we're going to take our working in and we're going to dive down through 
that loop that we formed and we're going to kind of form a really small loop but when we finish this knot out it's going to open up and create a, a bit larger loop now we're going to take our working end and we're going to go over our standing in and then we're going to trail it right back up through uh, the center of that overhand now we have two loops that are, are two bridges that form here and now to finish this we would just want to go over the first one and under the second one and trail it right back out the end there and then when we pull it all together or apart, uh, that forms the Hanson loop knot. And this one is similar to the Zeppelin and the fact that the bridge is on the, on the opposite side. So while it's not quite as easy to untie as the Zeppelin, you can get it untied fairly easily. And that's the Hanson loop knot. So the last knot I want to show you uh, that I use quite often is the Kalmyk loop. And it is a version of the Bolin. It's actually the slipped version of the Eskimo Bolin. So the first thing we want to do, and I've switched ropes here to a little bit more pliable rope because close up it's a little easier to show on a bit softer line. So the first thing we do is we go around our object. Now I like to leave about a foot or so of working in, maybe even a little bit more. And I'm going to grab that with my left hand with the standing in underneath of my hand here. Then with the standing in, I'm gonna make one wrap around my hand. Now, uh, with my hand still through there, I can swing over, dip down inside of this main loop, and then reach through and grab a loop of the standing in like so, pull it through. Now all I have to do is just pull it apart and that forms the Kalmyk loop. So there's one side of it and there's the other. Now with the Kalmyk loop, it's important to make sure that it dresses up properly. It has to dress correctly, otherwise it can uh, come apart on you. But once tied correctly, uh, it is a very strong and very secure knot. Now in the method that I show or the method I teach, the way I do it, uh, I've never had it uh, tie incorrectly by using other people's method of tying this knot i have had it tie incorrectly but the way i do it it has never once failed me so i can get it set the way i showed and then just give it one quick jerk and it sets itself so it's not a knot that i have ever had any trouble with getting tied in incorrectly and then the great thing about this one because it's a slip is in the end you just pull the slip and the whole thing comes loose and that is the Kalmyk loop.